This is the follow-up to the first video on working around GarageBand's uh, third-party effect limitations on iOS. Um, this method I'm using uh, AudioBus, and I'm still using AudioShare as well to, to play back uh, the file, but I'm using AudioBus here to be able to do this in real time, and it's just another method. Um, you'll notice AudioBus looks a bit different here, that's because I have uh, AudioBus 2.0 beta on my iPad, which I'm quite happy and smug about, because it is badass. Uh, okay, so for for this uh, video, I have these two tracks, which are just GarageBand instruments. We'll just listen to that really quick. I just made something for uh, to demonstrate this. So it's just that little loop, and I'm going to want to oops, going to want to apply the effect from echo pad on just the uh, piano here so hear that so again what we'll do um, I'll have that track soloed out um, actually I already did this so you can just look in the other video you, you just solo out whatever instrument you want to apply the effects to so you, you um, and then back out of the song export it by sharing it using open in do it as an uncompressed AIF file and then you can open that in audio share which i've already done here so now i have the effect here all right now i'm going to switch back over oh actually switch back over to GarageBand. and so basically i'm going to just play this it's kind of tricky so you have to time it um you have to time the uh triggering of playback from audio share in order to do this in time and then you if you don't get it right you'll just have to trim afterwards but um, I have count in set up on GarageBand so it'll you know give me a, a count in to start playback so I'm gonna switch over to my track here I have just the string soloed and I'm gonna switch over here this is connected again through audio bus which is being coming through echo pads so you can hear and what I'm going to do is just start recording in GarageBand. It'll give me that count in, and then I'll just time that with the uh, start of the audio file from uh, AudioShare. So it's a little tricky. If I don't get it the first time, I'll just try it over again, but I will try to get it right on the first time. Okay, I'm going to try that again. Here we go. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, no, I need to go in the garage band. And here we have that now recorded in GarageBand. Mm -hmm. 